Toyota just took a different approach to autonomous driving compared to Tesla's own approach. Toyota has presented a new advanced driving system. Its self-driving technology initially relies on security but can be made more independent with updates. So what do you think about this approach, friends? Better one than Tesla or no? Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and also if you find this report informative and helpful please give us thumbs up and like it and share in social media you will have the ev transition and adoption by masses so toyota has taken a special route to autonomous driving with independent updates now tesla cars also make updates but apparently toyota's updates are going to be independent but the route is also special in a different way toyota has presented its new advanced drive system its self-driving technology initially relies on security but can be made more independent with further updates Toyota present president Akio Toyoda has been driving the conversion of the car manufacturer into a software-driven mobility company since he took office in 2009. This Thursday, an important technological step for the realization of his project followed. The world's largest car manufacturer, Toyota, presented its first two vehicles, the built-in technology of which should open higher levels of autonomous driving. The first one is the new generation of the fuel cell car Toyota Mirai, and the second one is the Lexus hybrid vehicle LS500H. But Toyota is taking a different approach here. While many manufacturers want to offer hands-free driving on level three of the five level scale for full automatic robotic cars this year, Toyota drivers still have to lend a hand in some situations on the motorway. This corresponds to the second stage, in which the driver has to keep an eye on the traffic at all times. Toyota's principle is automation with a human touch, said head of technology Masaiko Maeda in an online briefing on Thursday, explaining the idea for the new advanced drive system in his teammate concept. The driver and the car will initially share the work. In fact, in 2018, Lexus brought a Level 5 autonomous driving equipment to CES, uh, CES, but I don't know where that technology is now in terms of development and implementation. Friends, on the highway, the two premium cars from the highly profitable mass manufacturer Toyota drive alone in one lane. Even if vehicles cut in front of the car, the system generally remains calm. But if the vehicle wants to change lanes, it asks the driver to put their hands on the wheel to be on the safe side and monitor the maneuver. Now, the car learns over time. The technology isn't standard installed. It's not coming with standard. If you buy Toyota's uh, highway teammate technology, uh, you need to buy uh, with, uh, actually, if you buy it for a surcharge or an extra charge, I think it's several thousand dollars, you get three liter sensors on your car in addition to cameras, radar, high precision 3D map, centimeter accurate positioning uh, system, and lots of computing power. These sensors capture the environment with high-resolution laser beams. With the exception of Tesla CEO Elon Musk, most car experts consider the expensive radar-like devices to be necessary so that cars can drive safely even at night and in the rain, explains Martin Curling in, uh, to Handelsblatt. In addition, Toyota explains that the autonomous vehicles that have the highway teammate technology will in future be able to drive more independently than Toyota has allowed them to date. For example, the software can be updated online, just like with a smartphone, in order to give the car more autonomy, among other things. Toyota often um, even offers buyers hardware updates. A company spokeswoman said the leader sensors in the front and on the sides could be upgraded, for example. 
Toyota Digital boss James Kofner, who was involved in the development of Google's self-driving cars, says these cars have the great potential to provide our customers with a lifetime of value. Their goal is that Toyota should develop the most programmable car in the world. CEO Akio Toyoda is not relying on technological leaps on this path, but rather a step-by-step -step approach. For him, automation is not the top priority, but the priority is zero accidents. At the same time, Toyota wants to make drivers feel more secure when steering the car. If you remember in 2019, Toyota tapped Subaru for its eyesight driver assist system that has been proven to reduce accidents. Subaru has a goal to prevent traffic accidents and they are aiming for zero accidents by automobiles in the future. You can find more about uh, Subaru's eyesight driver assist system in torquenews.com under Subaru by just searching the Subaru eyesight driver assist. Now, for example, back to the Toyota thing. If when overtaking trucks, vehicles keep a little more distance, just like most human drivers do. Another aspect for the head of technology at Woven Planet, uh, Planet Ki Koibachi is the joy of driving. We asked ourselves how far we should automate our vehicles so that the drivers are happy. Um, the experts had long discussion when, where the current limit for autonomous driving is for cars that people still buy for themselves. Toyota claims to have recognized that many car owners still want to drive themselves. This is true, at least for me, as I like and enjoy my driving. And to be honest, I'm not very much in, uh, thrilled about um, level five autonomy driving because, you know, you enjoy driving your cars. How many of you guys enjoy driving your cars? And, but, you know, when it comes, I may become lazy and may give in and start reading books and doing other things uh, in the car while taking long-term trips. Let's say playing chess uh, with my children. So I don't know. Another point is Toyota's conservative philosophy. We want to emphasize safety first, explains Koibuchi. That is why we decided that the system would pass the wheel to the driver a little earlier, he explained. Now, you know, Honda already has uh, offers, uh, offers level three autonomy. Local rival of Toyota, Honda, on the other hand, is already offering its buyers level three autonomous driving this year. The driver may turn away from the traffic for a longer period of time, but must be ready to take control at all times. In 2017, Honda had made a commitment to achieve level four autonomous driving within eight model years. So that was in 2017. We're talking about maybe 2025 reaching um, uh, autonomy in uh, uh, level four autonomy. So for the time being, however, only residents of Japan will be able to try out whether Toyota's strategy that I just told about uh, of taking small steps works or whether big promises of a lot of autonomy in the market are more convincing, writes Curling in Honda's blood. Toyota does not yet want to reveal when the highway teammate system will be introduced in the USA and Europe. So we don't know that, friends, yet. What do you think about this, friends? This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you guys are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Toyota EV and news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Uh, if you found this report helpful, please give us thumbs up and like this video. And we're still hiring automotive journalists, EV, Tesla, and automotive in general. If you guys are interested, please contact me. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone, and peace be with all of you. I'll see you soon in our next report.